Pacific I.O. in Austin, Texas to show off some of the most cutting edge technology to 20 plus mayors from around the United States. We partnered with Salesforce to bring their Connected Cities platform into virtual reality. And with Connected Cities, you're able to actually walk around and see these complex data sets and navigate cities and can actually interact with them. I've seen thousands of maps of the topography in the city of Austin. But I think that I probably have a better feel for what the topography is in and around San Francisco because you were physically in it. So it was taking the, the, the new technology and applying it to something as mundane as, as 311 calls in a city, uh, helping uh, public works be able to do their job better. I would be really anxious to see the version of this that was actually set in my city as opposed to uh, San Francisco, which was the model city. I saw this 311 application today. I saw how we could take data, and Albuquerque is one of the top 10 uh, digital cities in America now, just past San Francisco, is a digital city. So we've got these great open data platforms that we've been able to create. Now we can go back and, and take our 311 app that we already have, layer over that something with this technology that allows our operators to do a better job of providing service to our community. So I put, the, I put the headset on and you know, parachute into San, in San Francisco, which is the nearest big city to my city. Uh, and I mean, what an incredible moment. I wanted to see what it could do in the real world, though. Uh, and not just as a game, but really see that. And I was blown away at how, at how operational it could be and how useful it could be on the ground for the people that work for the city, for me, and ultimately for the people I represent. There were things that you could see in that modeling that I just quite frankly haven't seen or been able to appreciate in our city. So the ability to be able to visually see where the calls are coming in, the, the priority of the calls that are coming in, how they're handling, the ability to be able to send people to particular spaces. I was, it was just very exciting to, to take that kind of technology and apply it to, uh, to a practical problem like that. It was, it was very exciting and fascinating. I was expecting something pretty, pretty amazing. It, I was blown away by what, was, by what I just saw in terms of the service possibilities on the ground for my team uh, responding to 311 calls. Just the ability to like, physically locate and feel and understand the context of the cases that we're dealing with right now. Right now we get a call in and we're, we you know, send a crew out maybe if it's, a high, if it's a high enough priority. But we're trying to guess where exactly is it. We're trying to guess, okay, which one of these things on our list is the most important. This kind of technology, being able to see and feel and be in the moment and in the place, even for me, I mean, I know San Francisco, which was the test here, um, even for me was a really, really powerful way to, to take more, a greater command uh, of, of, at the executive level of how we're actually delivering on the promise for our, our constituents. I'm used to dashboards of graphs and charts, but to be able to see that in real places, you know, the act, this, this can sense this, this officer is over here, this worker is over here, this problem is over here, this Salesforce building has all, you know, accounts for all these calls all by itself. A uh, super powerful management tool, but also can bring me in as an executive to say, this is, this is where we need to really be devoting our energy, and here's where we've got real resources that I didn't even know we had. On lots of levels, the sooner we can respond, the better we can respond, the more efficiently we can respond, the lower cost we're able to respond. That changes the quality of life for people that live in a community. And these kinds of technologies, I think, advance us on that path. We all have data available to us. It's the ability to manage that data and use that data to provide more efficient government services. So let's say potholes are reported having a system that you can get the pothole reported and then get personnel out to fix the pothole. Uh, it sounds simple, right? But it's not always that simple if you're doing things by hand and not digital. Bring in other citizens to be able to see what this is and to get excited about change and about new things and not always think about everything that could possibly go wrong, but to see how it could make their, their, their town better. Really, really, really powerful. Because uh, it's, it's the hardest thing as a mayor. Everybody wants things to get better and better and better, but every time a little change comes along, people get afraid. And it's mostly because they can't imagine it. It's not that they don't understand the, the numbers and the facts, they cannot imagine it. So the ability to see see that you know, an alternative future uh, and what the possibilities it can bring was huge.